Hello friends, I want to talk about the LTX video image to video workflow here. It is not mine. It is basically the same workflow which can be found in the custom folder, in the assets in the conf UI, LTX video folder in the custom nodes. We have an image to video workflow here and a text to video workflow here. And what I did was to modify the image to video workflow here. This all is for my flavor a bit too gray and a bit too disconnected. I don't know what is where. So I modified it to my needs. This one. In case you get red nodes and missing nodes, go to the manager, to the install missing custom nodes. And in case something is missing, it gets listed here and you can install it. One word to my hardware. I have a 4060 XT with um, 16 GB VRAM, with a 5800X3D processor and 32 GB system RAM. You need minimum 12 GB VRAM for this workflow here. Now let's have a look at the workflow again. As you can see, I have grouped everything together. This here is the Florence block, the source image, the models, the prompt, and the sampling. And at the end of the chain, the video combine. The green nodes are the ones that you want to adjust. Here, for example, you drag in the image. Um, here you can resize the image. And make sure that you use a power of 32 value here. Everything else will get cut away. I have, as usual, collapsed the nodes. And here in the models, you can also find information where to find the model and where to place the model. Let's have a look at the Florence image to text group here. I have added a text combination node here. I want to prepend in front of this text the information that is needed for advice how to animate what, what should move. Um, it is, as usual, pretty picky. The bubbles in the beer glass does not arrive. The talking cat arrives. Moving camera does not arrive. This is the advice of the original workflow, the suggested suffixes. But as told, I want to put text in front of it, and that's why this text combination node here is. This all is um, generally part of the prompt the length, the frame numbers, and the frame rate can be adjusted here in the model configurator. I was not able um, to add an upscale workflow here, an upscale part. It always runs into an OOM. So upscaling should be done in an extra workflow. I have done some, I have collected some examples. I will link them in the description. And that was basically it. The rest was experiments if LTX video fits my needs. And I have mixed feelings here. It is super fast. The workflow here and the creation part finished in two minutes. Crazy. I love, by the way, the clock here running like crazy. Um, the problem is the quality. Here it somehow fits, but when you go closer, you notice it misses quite a few details. It goes much worse, to give you an example. Um, it goes completely blurry, and this was most of my results. So what you win with the speed of this LTX video model, you lose by doing lots of experiments to get a useful result. It is nevertheless a nice model. I have here version 2B version 0 0.9, maybe a future um, version gives better results. Um, we will see. Um, that was it. Have fun.